Alright guys, so welcome back. In this video, we're gonna create something simple and basically this is the final project we are gonna create in this video. As you can see in here, in very bottom, we have the button and this is basically back to the top button. If I scroll down and I click that, it should be back to the top and we have the smooth effect. As you can see right here, here it is. And we are going to see a couple options that you can use to create back to top button, something like this. Okay, so let's open the terminal and I'm going to create a folder called just say scroll to top. And we are going to, we are going to CD into scroll to top folder. Okay, so inside in here, I'm going to open that in VS Code and access, exit the terminal. Here we go. So let's close the welcome page and we are going to make that a little bigger. Alright, so let's create uh, index.html. Let's create another file which is style.css and uh, script.js. Script.js. Okay, so let's open the index, explanation and tab. Let's change the title to just say scroll to top and just say h1 right here, say hello. And I'm going to open that with live server, which is VS Code extension. It's going to be creating server with a port 5500 okay we have a hello right there cool it's working so what we can do in this body is we are going to create the section and we're going to create just yeah just copy and paste that a couple time and down here we are going to create the div with the class btn to top and inside in here, I'm going to create a link tag. And inside in here, I'm going to put my SVG. Paste it right here. This is the SVG. Uh, I get the SVG from flat icon, I believe. You can use any uh, icon you want, basically. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is what we have right now. So let's go to... Let's the link tag right here and i'm going to connect it with my style which is style.css and let's go to the style.css i'm going to just change the background just to make sure that everything is work say blue and here it is it's working so i'm gonna remove the margin and the padding wait padding to zero and the box sizing let's set it to butter box like so and we're gonna grab the section tag and we're gonna give a width to 100 percent and hake to something like 70 few hake okay and grab the section and i'm going to grab the weights tile with odd i'm going to change the background to say something like red or something just i'm going to change that to right there here we go and yeah cool so i'm going to styling the button right here remember we have class called btn to top and I'm going to grab the SVG, SVG right here. And inside the back to top class, we have the SVG, right? So let's give a width to 44 pixel, give a hake to 44 pixel. 
and I'm going to give a padding to 9 pixel and just give a border radius 7 pixel and just give a background to something like I don't know maybe AAA or something so save and let's take a look here we go uh, let's make that dark uh, maybe yeah maybe like that okay uh, it's too dark so let's change the fill the SVG color we can change that into uh, something like really I don't want to really white just something like maybe like that okay it's fine so I want to put the button to right here so let's give a position to absolute but absolute should be fixed and I'm going to say button to RAM and the right to RAM should be right here okay cool I'm going to add the uh, hover effect so let's do BTN top to top SVG and hover you need to change the background to uh, dark Uh, it's a dark we have we don't have any dark option oh really okay so I don't want to really dark so let's change that something like I don't know maybe yeah and we're gonna change the fill and just give a white Okay, wait. Let's give a transition. Transition to all 0 0.1 second to say is in out. So let's hover that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. So the first option that you can use is you can go to index.html right here. Maybe you want to, if you click this button, you want to go to very top, right? You can go to section top right here. And maybe you give an ID and just give a home. And this is, a, you can give a hashtag and home. Now, if you click this button, should be go to very top, as you can see right here. Uh, here we go. See that? But we don't have the smooth scrolling effect. So if you want to add the smooth scrolling effect, you need to create a scroll behavior in the HTML. You can say smooth like that. If you save now and you scroll down and you click that, we have the smooth scrolling now. But the problem is scroll behavior is not all the browsers support that so it's not a good idea to use the scroll behavior uh, like that so we need to looking for any option that we can use which is we are going to using uh, vanilla javascript so let's comment that out right here and i'm going to change that to button tag we don't need using uh anchor tag right here so let's get rid of this right here we don't need that we need to use button tag and let's change that right here and just remove the id in section we don't need that okay so now save and yeah so let's connect it with our script we can use dot slash script.js cool so let's open the script.js right now and i'm going to just make sure that 
it's working. So let's give it a alert, alert hello and we get a hello right there. Cool, it's working. So the first thing what we are going to do is we need to get this button class. Okay, so let's go back to script.js. We need to create a variable called just say btn to top and set it equals to uh, I'm gonna use document.query selector and we're gonna grab the btn to top class. Okay, so in here, the first option that we can use is we, we can use window dot scroll to. Okay, uh, we need to when we click this, we need to listen for click event, right? But before that, I just want to go to style and right here, I just want to give a cursor to pointer. Okay, so let's go back right here. We need to say btn to top dot add event listener. We're gonna listen for click event and in here, just make sure that work so we can alert. Just say hello, okay, save. And now every time I click that, we get a hello. Pretty cool. So what we can do in here is we can say window dot scroll to zero to zero. Okay, which is very top. So let's save and uh, have very bottom, right? If I click that, it should in the top. But the problem about this is uh, it don't have any smooth scrolling effect. So if you want to using scrolling effect, you need to using the scroll behavior. So let's save that. And now we have the smooth scrolling effect. But again, the scroll behavior, not all browsers support this, okay? So let's looking for any option. So let's copy that. And I'm going to comment that out. And the second option that we can use is second option. We can use window dot scroll. Okay, so let's space right here. And we are going to using window scroll. And inside in here, it's just a uh, object. So I'm going to say top to zero and behavior say behavior just say smooth okay so let's try to save and see what we have what we have now here we go we have the smooth scrolling effect okay pretty awesome right so now let's take a look for the third option we can use for the third option we can use document dot document element dot scroll top okay um really yeah so let's paste the event listener right there and we need to remove the window dot scroll top right here now we can use document dot document element and scroll top and we're gonna set equals to zero and now if i save that and let's go back right here if i click it should be go to very top but again uh, it's not smooth okay if you want to using smooth evac again you need to uncomment the scroll behavior and now you have the smooth scrolling effect but again all the browser doesn't support this scroll behavior okay so let's take a look at the last option that you can use and this is basically document dot document element dot scroll into view Okay, so let's try to paste right there and in here we, we can use 
document dot document element dot scroll into view and inside in here we have we can send the object and we can say behavior and set it into smooth like so so now save and let's take a look what we have here we go we have the smooth effect and and that was so pretty cool all right guys so i think that's it for this video i hope you learned something new and i'm gonna see you in the next video and bye